Oh, well, they had a Mars Love Island. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then there was an international collaboration to try and figure out what is the best place to go. There might have been microbial life on Mars way, way back. Mm -hmm. Back when Mars looked kind of like Earth. Not Earth now, but Earth prehistoric, like right after formation. Mm -hmm. You know, for about a billion years, Mars and Earth were both in the habitable zone of the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay? The reason why Mars looks so different today compared to Earth is because it's just smaller. And so it couldn't hang on to its atmosphere for long enough. And if you can't hang on to your atmosphere for long enough, then the atmospheric pressure decreases like crazy. Mm -hmm. And if the atmospheric pressure decreases, then you're no longer going to be able to sustain liquid water. Mm -hmm. Right. And liquid water is something that we're pretty sure is essential for life. Fundamental. Okay. So that's sort of the, the Mars that NASA has been obsessed with right. for the longest time. Right. Okay. This primordial baby Mars that had liquid water. Right. We know that now from our several missions there. The Curiosity rover found signs of liquid water. Mm -hmm. Right. And so everyone was really excited. It's like, okay, there's liquid water. The next thing we should do is try to equip um, a laboratory on Mars that can run around like a rover and also have all of the tools necessary to sort of do these chemical analyses on the spot and try to look for biosignatures. And that's where the Perseverance rover came in. This, this makes sense because though to be able to ascertain before you spend the time and money yeah. to send something back, we want to kind of do a spot check on site. Yeah. And honestly, like, you know, when the Mars Perseverance rover was launched, I think it was in 2020, um, during the first Trump administration, there was a, there was a five-year search to figure out where to put it. Okay. Okay. Right. Because you only got one thing. This thing's the size of an SUV. Mm -hmm. You got one shot. So there was there were sixty different candidate sites. Okay. That they were trying to figure out. Oh, they had a Mars Love Island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what they settled on was this place called the Jezero Crater. Okay. Okay. It's this giant crater. It's about um, twenty five miles across, and from we know from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is something that just like goes around Mars, has all these like instruments for infrared visible. From that, we can figure out composition of the of the soil yep, the that's surface. there, right? Yep. The surface chemistry. Yes. From that, we had figured out, okay, this is a pretty promising candidate mm -hmm. uh, because it's a crater that we're pretty sure had like a lake and there was a river delta system okay. that was going into it. So it, there's these beautiful like traces of like literally valleys and like river valleys going into this crater. So, you know, there's a lot of really nice sedimentary rock that's going to be there and you're going to see if there's life on Mars, that's a really good place to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, NASA JPL decided, okay, we're going to go to the Jezero Crater. 